Welcome back to Make It Hacking. We are here to bring you making, hacking, and other great stuff related to that. Uh, today we are going to focus on an unboxing uh, having to relate to 3D printers. Um, so one of the most painful things you do when 3D printing, depending on what kind of a printer you have, is getting your prints off the bed. Oh my God, the first time that I had to take a print off the bed, I was like, you know what? I don't know if I want to keep doing this because it's like prying concrete out of the sidewalk. Like it is it's an unimaginable. Like why is it so difficult, right? Uh, so there's like some tips and tricks you got to do to, to get it off. The, the thing is that like the heated beds, that's like what they do is they make that stuff stick. Um, so one of the alternatives uh, to putting um, down tape, which is what I do, I have this like six inch wide masking tape that I that I put down. Some people use painter's tape. It's basically the same thing, um, but it's a pain, right? And uh, even getting off the tape is sort of hard, right? Um, and one of the other things is once you get it off the tape, I'd say maybe eight times out of 10, I rip the tape and then I have to take the tape off and then let the bed heat up for the next print and then put the tape back on. So one of the alternatives is these things called build plates. So build plates or build sheets are an alternative to tape um, and they're supposed to uh, be easily printed on, um, supposedly even with no heat. I guess I'll give that a try. And, uh, and then even if you do have heat, it's supposed to print on there. And then what's really awesome is that you're just supposed to be able to take this off of the bed and you can go ahead and start printing again. Um, so this comes in a pack of three. They're eight inches by eight inches, which is a little bit over 200 millimeters um, square, which is what uh, my bed is. So these are made by a company called BuildTac. This is the BuildTac uh, printing surface. Uh, it comes in a pack of three, like I said before. On Amazon, they have a rating of a 4.2. Not the greatest, but again, you know, as long as it's above four, I'll do it. I got it on Amazon, uh, came with Prime shipping. Again, love Amazon Prime. They're a little pricey, okay? I don't really know what these are made out of yet, but guess how much these cost? About $27, 27 to $28 for a pack of three. So they're almost 10 bucks a piece. Now, I have a whole roll of tape, but you know, hopefully the uh, price will outweigh the frustration, right? If it's if it's if it comes out super easy, then I'm gonna be happy I did that, right? All right. So it says that it's designed for multiple uses, and I would freaking hope so for thirty dollars. Like, I can't imagine paying thirty dollars for a one-time thing. Um, now, it says multiple uses, but I don't see anything where it says how many uses. Uh, from the reviews, it's like you know you can print on it a lot. Um, you'll get your money's worth out of the amount. Um, but you can print ABS, uh, PLA, you can print hips, PET plus, brick, wood, and flexible slash TPE. So you can print a variety of filaments. In the description it says it's for fused filament 3D printers. I'm guessing that's their brand, um, but people said you can use these on other printers. Um, so just looking at the packaging, nothing special. Um, it has uh, sort of on the top, it says easy to install, optimal 3D printing surface, heat resistant, durable, and long lasting. I hope so. I paid 30 bucks, right? Um, all right. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in the same video, um, but I don't have anything ready to print. I need to still like level my print bed. Um, so once I get something ready to print, I'll do an actual print on these things. Comes down, it comes with instructions. It says insulation. Uh, wipe down your build platform. Make sure it's clean and free of debris. You actually want to do that. You know, make sure there's no dust on it. It says trim the sheet to match the size of your build plate if it's not already. Um, I plan on using little binder clips to hold this thing on. Remove the white adhesive liner. Uh, guess not. I guess you don't need uh, any binder clips because it looks like there's an adhesive on it and apply the build tack sheet to the bared build plate. So one thing that I'm kind of 
thinking about right now is I was planning on doing like a hot swap. Like that's kind of like another benefit of like 3D printing alternate things to do to your bed is if uh, if you just finished a print, you gotta let, wait for it to cool down and that sort of thing. I was planning on having the surface when it's done printing, taking it off, putting a new one on, and now I can print again. But there's an adhesive on the back. So it kind of sounds like you just gotta leave it there. Um, but if the print bed is so good that they just come off, then trial and error, right? All right, so it says remove the white adhesive liner and apply the uh, sheet to the bare build plate. Start from one edge of the build plate and work your way to the other edge, uh, basically trying to avoid bubbles. And it says to use a credit card or decal applicator. Um, so I do a lot of decals. Basically, you want to use something hard. Um, if you got a credit card, that'll work. But if you have something even more specialized, you just want to basically flatten it across like that. And then it says to re-level your surface, um, your print bed, to make sure that the nozzle height is properly set. Um, it says tip to ensure the longevity of the build tack sheet, use a spatula or palette knife with smooth slash rounded corners. I bought these so I don't have to use any tools. Ugh. It says avoid using solvents such as acetone to clean it. Do not exceed 125 degrees Celsius print bed temperature. I have a cheap 3D printer. <laughs> Paid two hundred dollars, including shipping and a kilogram of filament. So I have a really cheap one. I can't get it above, I think, eighty degrees Celsius. Um, take steps to prevent crashing the hot nozzle into the build tack sheet or your build plate. Um, if your three D printer has an auto leveling mechanism, run when the nozzle is cool. So I do not have that. Like I said, I have a piece of crap, but it works. Dum dum dum. Okay, so on the back of that talks about nozzle height leveling. It's basically talking about like how far your nozzle should be from the plate. If you don't, if you haven't done your own 3D print and you're just now getting these, um, yeah, go find out other stuff to do with 3D printers. All right, so here are the build sheets. So yeah, there's three of them. Have almost like a, it kind of feels like a, uh, like on the front of a notebook, like this thing. Kind of feels like that. Can you imagine if that was was and I paid 30 bucks? Uh, so that's what it kind of feels like. And there's this white thing in the back and I guess there's some sort of, yeah, so you peel that off. The other side, it's, it's not sticky. It's kind of like uh, like decal-y or like window clean. Kind of feels like that. So that's the build tack sheet, eight by eight, pack of three, available on Amazon Prime, twenty-eight dollars. We will see if it's worth it. We'll try a few prints. We'll try a, a, a cold print. We'll try a hot print and see how easy these things can sort of be removed. It sounds like they're not really supposed to be removed. I was kind of hoping for that, but I'm not gonna get it. But hopefully it's a better print surface. Uh, laying down tape kind of sucks. So this is something that would sort of permanently stay there until I guess it gets messed up. Again, it says to use a spatula. I have a spatula. I don't want to use any tools to take prints off beds. Um, so. I'll use these until they kind of fail. Um, who knows how long that's going to be. And then I'll probably move on to something else. Hopefully something better. Hopefully you guys can go over to our Patreon page. You can start at $1 a month, right? Dollar a month, that's not too bad. That's about $10 a year, plus or minus $2. And so don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to this video. Let us know down below. Have you ever tried one of these things? What results are you getting out of it? Uh, do you prefer tape? Do you prefer this? Do you do captain tape? Do you do the glue stick? That sort of thing. What uh, what kind of 3D printer do you use? Um, I just have a very generic one. Um, so yeah, comment down below. Let us know if you've tried these, what you think about that. We'll see you in the next video. Let's go make it happen.